Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. Today I'm coming at you with another request that is way overdue, um, partially because I just kept forgetting about it and partially because I'm absolutely terrified of it. Today we're talking about the classic British kids show from the 1970s called Pipkins. If you're from Great Britain, you probably are gonna laugh at me for saying this, but I've, I've never heard of this before. I know it's like a cultural thing across the pond. But before it was requested to me, I had no idea what it was. And when I saw it for the first time, my fight or flight responses kicked in because we all know how I feel about puppets. Most puppets terrify me. Pipkins is not the exception. Pipkins is the rule. <laughs> it was actually really hard to find episodes of this show, but I found a couple, so we're just gonna dive right in. I did manage to pre-watch these, but I don't know too much about the show. I know that there's like a bunch of puppets, including Hartley Hare, who's like the main one, and in doing research on it, and by research I mean I read the Wikipedia page, I learned that it's called Pipkins because it was originally centered around a puppet maker whose name was Mr. Pipkins, and then the actor who played Mr. Pipkins tragically died, it was very sad, and then they just kind of like rebranded a little bit, and the show just became about the puppets and the puppet maker's assistant, I think. Feel free to let me know politely if any of that is incorrect. This episode is called The Glove Puppet. He's called Michael, after our director. This first episode, The Glove Puppet, I will link below. It's actually here on YouTube. Hartley just has a way of looking not really into my soul, but just kind of through my soul. I don't know what that means, but it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Pipkins. Like, this intro is very, like, 70s chill hop, <laughs> almost. Uh, there's Tortoise. Uh, and Hartley. Even this unsettles me. Like, everything about this, I'm just like, something doesn't sit right with me. You can call me a dumb American. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My name is Hartley Hare, and today I'm going to talk to you about being naughty. Did he have to say it in such a threatening tone? But you know, really, if only you'd follow my example and be nice and kind and good-natured. Okay, I can, I can get on board with that. That's a very positive message, Hartley. Being... What about the time you were naughty then, Hartley? What? Oh. Oh my. Me? Naughty? God, the the pig, I'm so sorry, all I can think of is that scene from The Office where Dwight takes the, the CPR doll's face off and puts it on his own face. <laughs> My brain is broken. Also, why is Hartley missing a sleeve? Oh, what about the glove puppet then? The glove puppet? I was rather naughty that day, yes. <laughs> Just bulldozes the poor pig over. Oh no. <laughs> The puppets have like a very homemade look to them. Like they kind of look like I made them. <laughs> They're kind of jagged in certain places. The eyes aren't quite even. I don't know. Oh, oh hello. I've just been to the toy shop. And you know what I bought? Should I show you? Here it is. It's a glove puppet. Ah, it's puppetception in the worst possible way. You know. You can be naughty with a glove puppet. Okay. Can't you, Michael? Mmm, mmm, yes, that's what I've called him, you see, Michael. So Hartley and his puppet friend, because Hartley's a puppet, but he's a live puppet, but his puppet is not alive, because that would be ridiculous. We're apparently just off to cause shit together. Hello, Hartley. I'm not Hartley. Aren't you? No, I'm Michael. Oh. Don't bother somebody while they're reading. Oh, people on the head. Ow! Oh. Don't hit Hartley. It was Michael. Yes, but he's on your hand, isn't he? I mean, you made him do it. No! No! So Hartley just shows up, gives this poor guy a concussion, tries to gaslight him, and then leaves. Boiled egg and soldiers! Oh, I love boiled egg and soldiers! Do you know what soldiers are? No, is that another English thing that I don't know about? They are little thin strips of bread and butter. And they all smashing for dipping into your egg. Huh. That actually does sound good. I'm taking cooking tips from a puppet now. Okay. Oh, yes, I love boiled egg and soldiers. Do you know what the glove puppet looks like 
it looks like, um, I grew up with Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. This is something all my American viewers will definitely know. Doesn't it look like, like, the king and all of his royal subjects? I was terrified of all those segments. I am Michael. Oh, yes. Mm. 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 And whose is that great fat furry arm holding you up? Fat shaming his arms. Rough. Give us one of your soldiers. No. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> so Hartley's just running around causing havoc, stealing stuff. <laughs> I didn't do it. I really don't like when they make eye contact with the camera. That's it. I have lost my cool. I like her. <laughs> I vibe with that so much. I'm mad now. I'm... I'm even angry. Oh! Oh, her angry face. Oh, I'm gonna see it in my nightmares. 45, 46, 47, 48. Oh, I actually kind of like the turtle. He's got a cute little crocheted head. Hartley, I'm not Hartley. I'm trying to count. Imagine being a puppeteer, puppeting a puppet who's puppeting a puppet and then having a conversation with a different puppet about how that puppet is not a real puppet, but your puppet is a real puppet. I'm having an existential crisis. Oh, It wasn't me, it was Michael. Don't blame Michael, he's an unwilling participant in all of this. But you know, sometimes when you're feeling naughty. I wasn't expecting him to sing. Because <laughs> you can't always be a perfect Oh, the way his head turned around at such an unnatural angle. <laughs> well, 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 I suppose that often you are naughty. I'm sure this is very nostalgic for people that had it as a child. And I'm sure, like, the history of how they made the show and everything is very interesting. Because puppet shows usually are. They involve a lot of work from a lot of talented people. I couldn't get myself to focus on any of that. Because Hartley and his friends feel like a childhood fear that I didn't know I had. <laughs> nah, there was makeup in my eye and I rubbed it and now there's more makeup in my eye. Damn it. Oh, you just want to not get my hands on him. Oh dear. We really are in trouble now, aren't we, Michael? Ah, top of the morning to you, Hartley. Okay, Mooney's not scary. I, I don't think. Mooney just kind of reminds me of a couple of stuffed animals I used to have. And what's that you've got on your hand? He's got a cute little accent. He's just kind of like a little puppet grandfather. Ah, should have loved puppets. May I have a go? Well, I... Just wait till I get my hands on him! Oh, uh, <laughs> of course you can, Mooney. Poor Mooney is getting caught in the crossfire. Ah, we thank you. Hello there! I'm a glove puppet, and my name is... Come here, you! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, Hartley's mouth. Like, the inside of his mouth. There's so much inside of his mouth. <laughs> Pig? Oh. Pig? What are you doing? Why does Pig not have a name? All the other toys get names, right? Why doesn't Pig have a name? But that's not Hartley. What? That's Mooney. Mooney? Uh, well, I feel a little dizzy, to be sure. Poor Mooney. Poor everybody. Except for Hartley. He caused all these mess. But, you know, Mooney's getting beat up. Pig got her food stealing. Stealing. Stolen. <laughs> this guy got clocked on the head while he was reading, and now he's breaking up a fight between two puppets over a third puppet. First of all, he bonks me on the head. Then he pinched one of my bridge soldiers. Then he knocked all of Tortoise's money over. Then he got me to have a good Mooney. Me! I think it's time to vote Hartley off the island. <laughs> the look on that poor badger's face. The way that his voice has such, you know, emotion in it, but his face doesn't move is actually hilarious. Well, if you can't play with it properly, I'm putting it away until you can. But no, no, Johnny, please, I beg of you. Mm, so sad. Now, Hartley was feeling sad, but that night... Hartley... Oh, hardly. No. Ah. I've been crying because Johnny took you away and- I've been crying too. Don't cry, creepy puppet. Oh, I bet if those puppets got soggy, they'd just be in a whole different level of nightmare fuel. I'm not really a naughty glove puppet. I'm a nice glove puppet. 
and I like to be kind and gentle to people. So Michael the glove puppet, he goes to Hartley and has like a come to Jesus meeting where he's like, stop messing shit up for people, get your shit together. Is that just a regional saying? come to Jesus meeting, that's what we've always called it where I'm from, <laughs> when you have to have like a serious talk with somebody. But you made me do so many naughty things today that nobody likes me and I'm very unhappy. Oh, I didn't mean it, Michael, honestly. I just keep watching the way that his ears jiggle <laughs> and the shadow that it casts on the wall behind him. If Johnny ever gives you back to me, I'll be so kind. I thought love puppets had to be held. Uh, well, sure, it's a special time of the night when glove puppets can move around and uh, will talk all by themselves. Oh, good. It's in, like an elf on the shelf situation. Love that for us. Moni! Oh, dear. How did it go? Well, uh, I think you can give him back his glove puppet now. Oh, thank God Michael isn't sentient. <laughs> Don't tell him it was me to work in the glove puppet, will you? No. He thinks it was magic. I think we'd better keep it that way. How did Hartley not see him? Where could he possibly have been hiding? It's like that scene in Home Alone 2 where he's puppeting the, the clown inflatable from the... I guess the corner of the bathroom, but you're like, where could he possibly have been sitting? Where the concierge couldn't see him. Time for me to make a glove puppet. Oh, are we doing a craft? Let's see what we can do with Topoff's bobble hat. I don't have a beanie, but I have a sock. I don't want to get lint in my tea. Oh. First of all, you put your bobble hat on your hand uh. and tuck it in. Oh, tuck, tuck. Hello, how are you doing? Well, after a mouth, what do you need? Uh, you need eyes. That's eyes, eyes. Do I have anything in the way of eyes? I'm using stick-on shapes for that. Stick round on ones. Oh, round ones. His eyes are round. Aye, aye. One, two, two eyes. What else? One nose. A mouth. There you go. How's that? Is that better moving? Well, it's not bad, but the nose is a bit off the middle. Can you move it along a bit? All right. Ah, that's much better. Now, you won't be boss-eyed, really. OK, now, you know who that reminds me of? No. I have made cringe. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Michael Finnegan, he had a big red beard just like that, and there's a song about him. There was an old man called Michael Finnegan, he grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came along and blew them in again, poor old Michael Finnegan. I don't know the words to that song anymore. Goodbye. Bye. Ah! Stop doing that! Okay, that was a bit of Pipkins. Do I have time for one more? There's this other one that I found on Facebook of all places. <laughs> I'm watching Pipkins on Facebook. How did I get here? <laughs> I go to see the dentist. Well, you see, I've been eating rather a lot of sweets and it's, uh, go on then, take a look. Okay, so this one's teaching children about the dentist. <laughs> They're really trying to make it sound cheery, but a bunch of puppets driving around in a van doesn't sound fun to me. I'm supposed to be asleep, but I'm not. Ken definitely relate. And you know why? Oh, that sound! <laughs> because I want a sweetie. So, Hartley's hoarding a bunch of candy under his pillow. Hartley had just become very oh. fond of sweets. <laughs> oh. Just looks like he's eating a stick of butter. And he hid his sweets all over the house. Is it just me or are Hartley's arms just like a little bit too long? Oh, I've got a lovely bunch of lollipops. <laughs> that. You'll get tummy ache if you go on eating all those sweets, Hartley. Sweets? What sweets? So Hartley seems to have a sugar addiction. His friends are very worried about him. They just have an intervention. What are you hiding under those papers, Hartley? Nothing. This is just like a metaphor for substance abuse for children. I want chocolate. Tortoise is watching me. Tortoise also doesn't get his own name. Why do some of them get names? I know you are. Oh, well show me, big boy. Just come over here and show me. Why did he have to say it like that? Oh, it's gone. I was too slow. Poor tortoise. He needs backup. The other day, I saw him hiding some bubble gum in Mrs. P's teapot. <laughs> I just pictured this cartoonish scenario where there was like gum stuck on the bottom 
of the teapot and it was like sticking all the tea on the inside of the pot. I don't know. My brain is weird. Into the teapot you must go. E -I -E -I -E -I -O. What are you putting into that teapot, Hartley? Teapot? There's nothing in this teapot. Hartley really does try to gaslight everybody he knows, doesn't he? Eating too many sweets is bad for your teeth. Now you've done it. Now you gotta go to the dentist. You and I are going to the dentist. The dentist. You fucked up your teeth. Hopefully my swearing will remind the YouTube um, gods that this is not a children's video, even though this is technically a children's show. The, the one episode of this that I could find on YouTube plays on YouTube Kids, so like, imagine a child's surprise nowadays if they're just watching like Peppa Pig and then this pops up on their screen. Again, I know a lot of people love this show, but if you've never seen it before and you're five and it pops up, you probably have a nightmare about it. The dentist is always very nice and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Let me tell you, somebody who had braces twice technically, it does sometimes hurt. <laughs> I'm not going. Harley? Yes? You're very handsome. <laughs> I know that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Narcissistic bunny puppet. Do you know why you're handsome? Is it my, my beautiful ears? Mm -mm. He's like, no, your ears are horrifying, dude. It's your teeth. My teeth. And do you know what would happen if you lost them? Well, you wouldn't be handsome anymore. Wouldn't I? No, you'd be all toothless and ugly. I mean, I know he needs to get him to go to the dentist, but I feel like this is going to give him a complex. I feel a little bit nervous now. I now am very self-conscious about my own teeth and the amount of sugar that I put in this tea. But Hartley was worried in case the dentist saw how many sweets he'd been eating. Johnny just carrying around Hartley in this big lump. <laughs> Hartley was having a lovely time riding on a toy horse. <laughs> Okay, so I love this clip, and the reason why is because it reminds me of this clip. I'm a cowboy! I'm a cowboy! Hartley was having a lovely time riding on a toy horse. It's like the Pam meme, where it's like, which one of these are different? They are both the same thing. And it's been nice knowing you, Johnny, old boy. Oh yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Poor Johnny gets a break for five minutes, finally. So the dentist takes Hartley back. He shows him, like, how everything works. I realize that dentistry has not changed that much since the 70s. What I want to do is to have a look at your teeth with this little mirror. Oh, Have you seen one of those before? Oh, no. I mean, I don't know why it would, like, unless somebody out there wants to train a computer to clean my teeth for me. Have you seen one of these before? This oh, is yeah, a toothbrush. Yeah, I've got one of those at home. Legend has it that if you admit to your dentist that you've never owned a toothbrush, um, they will take that little scraper that they use to clean your teeth and just jam it right into your heart. It's quite small so that we can brush your teeth with it very gently. Let me just try that for a moment. All the sounds of this scene are just giving me like this like ASMR vibe and it's lulling me into a full sense of security. So the dentist cleans Hartley's little felt teeth. He checks him for cavities, tells him to eat less candy. And you've got to start eating a few less sweets every day. I won't eat all that many, really. Liar. You tall-eared, lying sack of sh A few sweets after tea, right. Very few. Very, Very few. few. So they've scared Hartley straight. He now will never eat a sweet again, according to him. Oh god, that has such meme potential, just this frame. It's horrifying and hilarious, all at the same time. I'm back! So Johnny confronts Hartley about how many uh, pieces of candy he's been hiding and eating. Oh, right! So you know! And he gets so ashamed of himself that he rams his newly cleaned teeth right into the wall. No, Hartley, everyone loves sweets, and sweets are all right if you eat them, well, just now and then. So Johnny tells him, like, hey, just, you know, like, everything in moderation, man. That's how you live a healthy life. And Hartley's like, okay. And then he sings a song about how he's never gonna eat any sweets again. I will never have another lollipop. I feel like Johnny's lesson hasn't really sunk in. Oh, must be sweet for Hartley, yeah. No, and then Johnny just kind of gives in. He's like, okay, unhealthy aversion to eating candy? I guess it's better than rotting your teeth out. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Hartley. And then the episode ends on a long shot of Johnny and Hartley just brushing their teeth. And don't forget to clean yours either. I won't, I promise. I'm gonna go brush them twice when I'm done filming this video. And on that note, that's all I've really got in the ways of this video. I... I'm sorry if I haven't been giving very um, useful commentary. I'm just, I'm genuinely made uncomfortable. <laughs> and like, again, I know a lot of people grew up with this show and that's amazing. 
Uh, it's really just, it really just boils down to my probably unhealthy fear of puppets. So let me know, do you find this show adorable? Do you find it terrifying? Do you find it to be kind of a mix of both? Did any of my uh, non-UK viewers get this? Like, did anybody watch this as a kid outside of the UK? Because I just genuinely had never heard of it before, but I know it's, it like ran for like, what, 10 seasons in the UK? I know very minimal about, about it, so... If you have any fun facts about its history or anything like that, let me know in the comments because I'm very new to my awareness of Pipkins and Hartley hair and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. Again, sorry this video request took so long to get done. I just... I have so many video requests and I'm always trying to do as many as I can. But if you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Gotta go make an appointment with my dentist. <laughs>